derpa. Uh, action. Okay, and then here's all of Dragon Ball with Dragon Ball Z because anyone who gets all of them has to line them up together to just get the ongoing uh, spine arc go on it. And you know what? I'm going to say I like Boo Saga more than the Cell Saga. Ooh, okay. Hey, even I don't the hate ending, Boo Saga. The I, ending of Boo Saga was better than the ending of Cell Saga. It's fun to rip on it, but even... But Cell Saga was just a bunch I don't of hate blah, Boo. blah, blah. Dude, so when Goku dies, Pat, passing the torch completes the tale, dude. Yeah, but the fact that he doesn't in the next arc makes it that much... That much they're both important. they're both better endings than ending with Frieza and Goku dying. What that? Frieza, I know that was his Frieza original ending, ending. Was the best ending. Frieza ending was the best thing. But I just like the fact that Hercule saved the day because he had to because he was the champion of the people. He was the Rock. He is the Rock of the Dragon Ball universe. And Hercule is. Oh, <laughs> Let's start from the back, and so that. And that's most of what I can remember. Let's as see. Media. Let's see if uh, you people at home can find the inconsistency. Of course they can. A anyone who owns Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z manga can pick out the problem with the spine art. Of course is Yajirobe one. Where is it? Yajirobe two. Because he was that important. He was. He saved Goku's ass whenever Vegeta. Uh, Almost tore. Yeah, him. like oh. He cut off the tail. That was brilliant. I love that. And then uh, let's see, the electric tail of Pikachu. This is actually oh, geez, not geez. bad. This is actually not bad. It makes sense. He he finds Pikachu like outside his house, like chewing on wires, and he just he he tames him, which is completely plausible. Like that's how it would work. Oh, but when Michael Vick does it, all of a sudden he's this horrible person. Uh, also when Johnny Cash decided to uh to park his car in the middle of the woods and then let it set on fire and he killed half of the existing species of the California condor and then they brought him on trial about it and he was like, why do I give a fuck about some ugly ass bird? Yeah, America. What? Yeah, California condor. That How much more American could you get than a bird with a Bald name eagle. of a... Bald eagle. No. That's the one animal I'll sign a petition to save. <laughs> And then, uh, let's see, Slam Dunk 1 through 14, which Kelly Sue DeConnick is the wife of Matt Fraction. She does the uh, translation of this series, and Matt Fraction is the one that actually writes Iron Man, so. So that's kind Iron of. Iron Man, issue. along with, like, five Thor other Marvel and series. Thor and the new, uh, the new crossover event, Fear Itself. Really? He also writes Casanova. Really the Jeff Johns of Marvel, I would say. What? He's not fixing anything, though. And then, uh, let's see, Bobo Bo, the... He did fix Iron Man, because the whole Civil War thing, but another video, go. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, there's all Bobo Bo, then here's all of Kikaider, Code Zero Two, One Through Seven. This is, this is pretty much going to be mostly redundant here at this point. Uh, let's see, we got 20th Century Boys, One Through Thirteen here, which I love Thirteen. Ah, great sort of, uh, ending to that. Well, no, ending to that volume. And then, uh, let's see. Drifting Classroom 1 through 11. Whole series complete. Ah. And then, and then let's see. We get, uh, there's Genshiken 1 through 9, which is essentially the Big Bang Theory with otakus. That's, that's the best way to describe it. And then, uh, here's What's Michael, volume 6. Oh, that looks awful. 8, 10, 11. No, it's cute. It's very fun. Like, it's just, it's just... People doing cat stuff with their cats. It's very fun. It really is. You, I can't, I can't pitch it to you as an idea. And then let's see, we got Fushigi Yugi one through six, the big editions, which is the whole thing. And then Vagabond, which is the only other thing I have that's a uh, continuous spine art. And I actually watched the uh, Samurai trilogy movie, which is which has a uh, Toshihiro Mifune as a uh, Takezo, which I love that version as well. Then, uh, let's see if we can just, uh... No, that's not gonna work. We're gonna have to move these down. Jeez. And then... And then, actually, I couldn't fit it up here, but there's Kane Saga 1 with 2 through 5, with 4 being just part 1 and 2. Don't know why they did that. Confusing as hell. It's like a Jenga block. If you pull the wrong one, the whole shelf's just going to fall. And then here's a JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, 1 through 16, a masterpiece. 
It really is. You want to talk about hardcore, there are way more hardcore JoJo fans than there are DBZ fans. Uh, and Azumanga Dayo, the all-in-one. I honestly oh. didn't know that this guy did porn before he drew Yatsuba or Azumanga Dayo, which begs the question, how do you draw porn with this kind of artwork? I mean, it's not even that detailed. How do you not draw porn with that kind of artwork? I or, mean, it, it does. I, what, what percentage would you say of uh, manga artists nine get, their, out of, nine, get their start in porn? About like 8 out of 10. Like, I mean, really, besides Urasawa and... <coughs> besides Urasawa and Tezuka, I think pretty much damn near everyone started with porn. Uh, then Speaking Car of which... Cardcaptor Sakura, the big edition one, with uh, Dark Horse's reprinting of all the, of all the lost Kodansha titles that Tokyo Pop lost for no reason apparently. Uh really great. Can't wait for the rest of it to finally come out. Uh then Buddha one through eight, which is a masterpiece. It's really good. Really great. Why is the three different? Because it's a hardcover. Oh. That's how hardcore it was. And then we get over here, Doctor Slump, which is actually the first thing Toriyama worked on before he went on to uh oh Toriyama, there's another guy that didn't have to do porn. <laughs> because to pay his dues. I don't wanna see not Goku fuck not Bulma. <laughs> or do you? No, somebody already did that anyway. It's not like he had that He was beat to the punch. <laughs> and then uh we have Astro Boy one through nine, eleven and fourteen, but I actually did uh yeah that that's horribly sun bleached on those ones. But I actually did go on the internet, and now I'm getting the rest of Astro Boy. So now I have uh, 10, 12, and 13. So I actually have 1 through 14 now of Astro Boy. Now I just have to get the other 9 volumes of it. It's really? a multi million dollar robot. Can't afford to buy a shirt. What? <laughs> he doesn't need a shirt. Uh, you, you see the shit he gets in. He loses he blues his shirt more often than Goku. <laughs> Uh, then we get down here, One Piece, 1 through 56, which actually they're now reprinting the old volumes of it, and they're putting the little, uh, logo right here for what story arc it is. Like, they're starting with 1 and 2, and they're saying, like, East Blue Saga, so they're going to be making it all match when they finally reprint everything up to volume 23 again. So, really love it. It is the best. Shonen manga title that's coming out from Japan right now, undisputed. It is the it is the spiritual successor to the Dragon Ball. And then we move that aside and we see all of Ranma one half, all 36 volumes of it. You are gonna find a dead squirrel behind one of these. <laughs> or I'm gonna find out that I've been collecting the same series twice. <laughs> Which would be infinite. Which has actually happened to him before. No. Well, the same. You've grabbed the same issue. Oh, times. yeah, yeah. There's there's more than a few times that I've uh, found some redundancy in my manga collection. If you burn them for heat during powerhouse. <laughs> but uh, there's the Ranma one half, which I love, even though there's no uh, definitive ending to it. It actually got canceled after volume 36, which, I mean... You canceled Rumiko Takahashi. You canceled something that could print money. What were you thinking? Also, with the speed they put these things out, how can you not just make 37 and give it an ending? They find another fountain and he turns into a boy. The end. Nah. It's, it's a screwball comedy. You can't just give it an ending. That's like giving an ending to Three's Company. How do you really give an ending to Three's Company? Um, Jack gets a restaurant deal in Europe and he has to move away... The blonde girl gets, like, a modeling deal that takes her to California. And then, what's her name? Janet. Janet buys the hotel from Don Knotts. It's not and a then, hotel. Like, it's really whatever. Deep. And then, like, they put the keys on the table, and then they're like, goodbye. And then they turn off the lights and then cut to black at the end. Oh, come on. That's just wrapped up. Anyway. I think I got to, like, the Friends ending there for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> then, uh, Tech Home King Creek, which is a wonderful series, like, Tayo Matsumoto. I actually also won an Eisner for... Well, actually, this one won an Eisner uh, back when it was all international material uh, in the buy, not just for uh, Asia. Well, no, this was still Asia. Never mind. That was that was uh, Lone Wolf and Cub that was winning the Eisners when 
they didn't get that pussy, uh, you know, best manga trophy one. Wait, so with the Oscars, there's best international or best international, comma, Asian? Comma, Asian. Okay, so yeah. it is best manga. Yeah. All right.